Hi everyone, welcome back to my channel. Um, so as I mentioned yesterday in my video, um, I'm trying the Simply Filling. I went last night <clears throat> and I got some stuff and so I've been doing Simply Filling, so I'm really excited. Um, I always do well with something's new. It doesn't matter what the diet is, unless it's extremely restrictive, even then, usually, I'm still pretty excited about it. Um, so at work today, I printed myself the Simply Filling food list, which if you just go to Google and just type in Weight Watchers, Simply Filling food list, you'll find it. Um, so I had that, I made um, extra copies, so that way I can have one in the car, I can have one in my purse, I can have one at home, I can have one at work. I have one everywhere, so there's no excuses for if I'm not sure about something. Of course, I always have my phone too, which I would show you, but I'm recording on it. <laughs> um, so let's see, so today so far has went really well. Um, it's about 4.30 right now. Um, I just got off work, so that's why I'm like, everything's slouchy, hair is back, old, roughly. House clothes are on, just because it's usually the first thing I walk in the door, everything goes and I just wanna be comfortable. Um, let's see. So how did the day start? Okay, so this morning I started with some of the um, the Aldi brand like uh, Cheerios. Let me see if I have it in this cupboard. <clears throat> I think I have it in this cupboard right here. Okay, so these are the Aldi brand Cheerios, just crispy oats, the Millville. These are the Aldi brand. And when I scan it, it doesn't show that it is a power food or on the Simply Filling food list. But according to the Simply Filling food list for cereals, um, it can have no more than one gram of sugar, which this one has zero grams of sugar, um, and with three grams or more of fiber per serving. And this one has uh, three grams. So I'll kind of show you. I don't know if you guys can see or not. So that's kind of the stats on it. And so technically it does, um, does meet those requirements of the uh, for cold cereals and um, it does say whole wheat maybe it's I don't know but when I scanned it it didn't show it as a power food but maybe the Weight Watchers team didn't uh, put that in there as a power food so I just calculated it as zero points I just took, put that I had like an eighth of a cup for zero but I had probably a cup and a half um, I also had some of the Aldi brand soy milk like I said I think I said yesterday I really like soy milk but soy milk compared to like other types of milk are really high in points it's like really close to almost um, like low fat milk and so I don't know it's kind of hard thinking like spending like three or four points for a cup of soy milk when like there's so many other choices that are zero points or one point so it's kind of like mm, I never really chose it but I really do like it although the Aldi brand it the flavors a little bit off feels like a little too sweet but I still like it. I'm enjoying it. So anyways, all of that just took some that. So I had my crispy oats and some soy milk this morning. Um, for lunch, I had some leftovers from yesterday, which was, um, it was the uh, Skinny Me Drizzle, the chicken broccoli bubble up casserole. And pretty much everything in it is either a power point or zero points. Like um, there's a... Uh, like shredded, not shredded, but they're little chunks of grilled chicken breast, broccoli, um, fat-free craft shredded cheese. That would be considered a simple filling list on the simply filling list, so it's zero point, it doesn't count. Um, and then I think there's some Alfredo sauce, like Alfredo sauce and for a fourth of a cup is like a point, so at most I had like a point, maybe two if you want to round up. I don't think it was that much, but I digress. So roughly about a point for lunch. I've been snacking on carrots all day. Um, I had some grapes. Um, what else did I have? I had a cold brew with the soy milk, with the soy milk um, for this this morning, and then one at lunch. Um, so that pretty much is still on the simply filling food list. Um, and that's pretty much what I've eaten today, so I'm doing pretty well. And um, when I got home, so just a little bit ago, I had another bowl of the the oats and soy milk because I was hungry waiting for dinner to get ready um, because my fiance he made dinner and, and it's not presented very well I just kind of threw it in a bowl but it is uh, the Aldi just some frozen salmon um, he put on there oh no it's speaking everywhere uh, he put on there some um, 
sorry. It's still everywhere. If I don't pick it up, it's going to be all greasy. Well, not greasy, but... Yeah. Uh, because I'm not very good at presenting and everything spills everywhere and I'm dropping everything. Oh, goodness, it's chaos. Anyway, okay, so he told me on the salmon, um, he took some, because I had some... Um, I took, I had a pineapple uh, the other day and I chopped it up and I used it for um, like some kind of stir fry or something. So I had a, a bowl, this bowl actually, um, a half bowl of pineapples that's been sitting in the fridge for a couple days. So he took the pineapple, he squeezed it, and he used the pineapple juice um, to make the sauce. He used paprika, seasoned salt, pepper, um, and then he said a tablespoon of teriyaki sauce, which I know it says on here. That's another thing, I guess. If anybody knows the answer, please let me know. Um, for the teriyaki sauce, I know I've seen it on here that you can have teriyaki sauce. Where is it at? Seasonings. Um, yeah, it says teriyaki sauce reduced sodium. So here it says teriyaki sauce reduced sodium. But I don't know. I feel like the teriyaki sauce I have has a lot of sugar in it. So I don't know if it would be... Um, if it would be on the Simply Filling List. I haven't scanned it yet, so I don't know. I'll try to let you guys know tomorrow. And if it is on the Simply Filling List, I'll show it to you so that way you can go get it if you want it. I think it's the the main brand that does the soy sauce. I, I don't know. I can't think off the top of my head what it's called. There's the K. Kyoko Man. I don't know. But it's, I think, that brand of um, teriyaki sauce. Or hoisin sauce. No, it's teriyaki sauce. Um, so that's pretty much what's on that. I already had a bite, and it tastes pretty good, it smells good, it looks good, so I'm excited to have that. <clears throat> um, I'm not sure what I'll have for any snacks for later, maybe some more carrots, um, probably not because I've been eating carrots all day and I'm kind of like, ugh. Um, probably grapes because we went to Aldi's and they had grapes, the purple grapes on sale for like 79 cents a pound, so we got like four or five bags, like my fiance, he loves grapes. So in for me, snacking on, even if I devour the entire bag of grapes, which I know isn't good, but that's a lot better than other things I would eat. <clears throat> so, it's kind of like, what's the worst of the two of those? I'd rather eat a bag of grapes than a bag of junk food. It's just, especially at night, it's, whatever, whatever. I will eventually get to the point where at some point I'm like, no, I've got to um, be really cautious of the fruit because I'm not losing. But right now, it's just, I mean, crap, so... Eating, you know, grapes is better than eating some other crap. Um, yeah, so, um, tomorrow I'm going to try to make for lunch, um, like a little fake chipotle bowl, um, with some brown rice, um, corn, peas maybe, maybe not peas, um, I, I got a couple of different things, like I got butter beans, so I guess it's supposed to be like larger lime bean. I don't know what the difference is between a lima bean and a butter bean. But it says on the can, it says butter in parentheses lima bean. So, I don't know. <clears throat> you know, let me know. So anyways, I've got lima beans, i got pinto beans, i got fat free refried beans, because you can have that. So I might have a burrito sometime this week, actually. That sounds kind of good. Like a del taco burrito. Ooh. Um, black beans, kidney beans. I really like kidney beans. So I got some of those. I'm like I said, I might make some kind of um, some kind of like chipotle chipotle bowl or something. I'm not sure. Cause I still think I have some of the frozen chicken that's already pre cooked, just kind of heated up. Um, I don't know. So just one of those things. Um, let's see. I'm losing my train of thought. I always lose my train of thought. My mind goes here and then there and then here and then I forget what I'm saying and then it's so much rambling. Um, so, yeah, that's kind of my plan for tomorrow. Um, I'm going to try to work about planning it out, like, in my little, um, Weight Watchers planner thingy in the bob. I'm going to try to, oh, that's an older page I had. See, like, I go through half of it. Anyways, I'm going to try to plan out my day and see if that helps, too, so that way maybe I know I can eat, and that way if I'm not sure and I'm feeling snacky, I just go look at it and say, okay, what am I supposed to be having? Sometimes I'm before and it's actually pretty helpful because, like, I'm not sure, like, oh, I don't know what I'm supposed to be having. Oh, it says I'm supposed to be having pudding. Let me go have pudding. It says I'm supposed to have grapes. Let me go have grapes. Um, but yeah, so far it's been pretty successful. I don't, I haven't felt like I'm starving. I don't feel like I need to constantly eat, although I was eating, like, carrots all day long. 
a lot better than what I have been doing, but the real challenge is going to be how I make it through the rest of the night, because honestly, usually I can do pretty well during the day, it's the time I get home, so from about 4.30 until I go to sleep at 10 or whatever, that is the challenge, so we'll see how that goes. Um, I'm by myself all night tonight because my fiance is going to some Dungeons and Dragons thing, so I'm going to maybe do some cleaning, maybe be lazy, maybe take a nap, I don't know. Hopefully I will um, be good and I won't, um, I won't go, I won't eat anything that's not on my simply filling food list or I will have at most my seven points. I'm going to try for right now not to use those seven points if I can just because I know right now, like I said, I'm really motivated whenever I start a new a new diet or a new program, I usually do very well because I'm really dedicated to it no matter what it is. So I'm just going to kind of try to um, just kind of look at this, um, watch some videos online, see what people are having. I did find this one. I think I left it. I I did find that found this one recipe. Somebody had made like a chocolate pudding or something. They used some of the um, like low fat yogurt. They put in some cocoa powder in there and just different things like that. I'm like, oh, this could be interesting. I like the idea of that. So I might try that sometime this week. And if I do, I'll let you know how that is. I'm not sure if, I'm pretty sure the cocoa powder is not on the Simply Filling list, but probably if you use enough of it or just barely enough, you'll probably get by with zero points. So, rather than you being forced to listen to me ramble anymore, I'm going to go ahead and go. I'm going to enjoy my fish, enjoy the rest of the evening, and I will do my best to check in tomorrow and let you know how I did tomorrow. Alright, have a good evening, everybody. Bye.